Hi everyone, assalamu alaikum. Um, I know it's been a while that I haven't posted any videos, uh, so I apologize for that. But I will try to post new videos um, over the summer, and and I will also post um, you know new video subjects um, on YouTube. So. I'll try to do most of it probably weekend out uh, of the weekends or the week during the week. Um, yeah, so because I start to you know I'm a little bit of a heavy schedule. Um, I entered masters and now I'm going for my masters in education and I'm as well going um to work in in a, in a school setting. So yeah, so I will start with my story on how my parents found out that I became um um that I converted to Islam. So it was it's um it was a day I think it was a summer day, yeah. It was a summer day that my husband and I and my sister was going out to go, you know, home shopping, get get some supplies for home. And um my my husband and I were waiting for my sister to go down from her house um, and to meet us in our car. And I didn't know that my mom was already home from work. So she joined in. And so, um, after that, she came in the car, she saw me with the hijab on and she got in a shock. Oh, she got shocked. She was shocked and she was surprised and she was upset. Like she had so many mixed emotions at that moment and she thought it was a joke. So she started to laugh. And then I told her it's not a joke. This is, you know, like I told her, I'm like, I did convert a few, a, like a, a week ago. Um, and I was going to tell you, but not this way. And so she pulled my hijab away and she was like, no, you're not wearing that, blah, blah, blah. You know, she started to say a lot of things. And, you know, all I, I couldn't really argue with her and anything like that. We were in the car. I know how she felt. And I know she was so upset that I, I just didn't want to say anything to her. All I said to her was, you know, I did convert and I am wearing the hijab and, you know, and then I told her it's not because of my husband, it's because of, you know, me, I did it for myself. And so she left the car while well, my husband was driving to, a, to um, I think, I don't know where we were going, but she was, he was driving already and he told him to just stop the car and she's going to go walk home. And so she she got out and then so then after a couple of hours i guess um my family was calling me and i was like oh my gosh like my mom already told like my whole family and so i was i was i was like oh my gosh like i don't i don't want to deal with this drama so then my cousin called me um well one of my cousin um her name is anna I told her prior to me converting, before I converted, I told her that I, you know, I'm learning about Islam, this and that. So I told her, I told her everything and that, you know, like I'm planning to convert, but I just don't know how to tell my mom. So she called me saying that my mom told her and then her, my mom told my aunt and my uncle and my older sister. So it was a big mess and she was saying that they're all gonna call you and all of this. Your mom wants to do like an intervention um, because you converted. And she thinks that's because you converted because of your husband. And so I was a bit like, I was, a, I was upset about the fact that my mom, you know, told my other family members because I wanted to tell them individually and in my own time. So, I kind of expected that, to be honest. I, I expected that from her. Um, so from that day, I spoke to my um, cousin. And so she said that, you know, like, I know that you converted, that like you told me this and that, but I'm not going in that convention. I mean, that intervention that your mom is setting up because it's all about you. And if you're happy, you're happy. Like, it's not, it's no, it's no place for me to put in and to, and to just judge on you. So, um, I guess after, a, yeah, after the next day, my aunt calls me 
and she says that that my my uncle my aunt my sister my older sister was living uh, in philadelphia was coming down to to speak about him and my father and yeah my husband they were all in and my mom of course they were coming to my house the next day um to speak about the whole thing and so there was a, a meeting in my living room basically and I, like my dad stated that um I, i'm not so like you know he's like you know this is new york we're supposed to come you know um get accustomed to their culture or you know their their dress code and whatnot it's now in our country or like he was giving examples of how um in their country in ecuador they dress differently from new york so they said we have to be you know part of this cult like this culture because of we're in new york we're not in ecuador anymore but i told them i was like i'm not i'm still wearing the same clothes that i wear it's just a long, long sleeves and the hijab that's the only thing that has changed um i'm not wearing like i'm not wearing the um barca I, I told them i'm not wearing the barca um i'm wearing the hijab only that is the only thing that i am wearing and he understood from there he was like okay so he was more concerned of the jobs because i had a lot of good job opportunities and he was concerned that they didn't accept me because of what I wear. But I think he thought that I would wear the barca and everything. So I told him, no, she's agnostic where she believes in God, but she has questions upon like, she doesn't believe on the books, like the Bible book, the Quran and other, other, um, and other, um, religion books. Cause there's no Arthur as she stated. Um, it could have been any person that wrote that book even from previous time it could have been any person that we don't have no proof on so that's what she was stating and she was stating on how many things that i guess like it was like a biased thing that she was stating like things that she didn't she heard from other people um that were muslims or non-muslims that she started to judge and um and she'll start to ask a lot of questions. But during that time, I couldn't answer as much because I was still learning. So I told my husband to answer the questions that she had upon the Quran. And then um, my aunt, she was, she's, she loves different cultures. So she really didn't care. She was just, you know, she was like, if you're happy, you're happy. You know, I do have like questions like, like that she had questions about um islam but that was it and then my uncle was more of a mm, another bias and judgmental things that i just didn't want to hear as much it was all about opinions and judgments um at that time and my mom as well opinion and judgments and where she thought that because of my husband i changed to this to you know islam and i told her it's not that way but she in her mind like for that day or for that whole month she did not she did not want to hear anyone or anything about islam so she ignored it and she just stuck to her mind that i should i turned this way because of my husband and and i told her that like it's not it's not because of him and you know that so that's so after that day my mother didn't um speak to me for a month and it was hard because we do live across from each other and we do bump path sometimes. So it was a bit hard to not have, you know, like having a mother ignore you because of your conversion. And um, I would be upset, but you know, I, I, you know, I was, I told, I said to her one day, I, you know, I messaged her saying that I'm still the same person regardless i'm still funny i'm still happy i'm still like um you know <laughs> whatever you mean me like i'm still i still have jokes I, i'm funny i'm charismatic i was like i'm still that person like the person that you raised me is still inside and then you know the only thing is that i wear the hijab and that's what i told her and 
and I told her that, you know, I know you. it's going to be a lot of time for you to get comfortable with this because you did not raise me this way, and I understand, but I don't want to be, um, I don't want us to break the relationship apart because we, you and I have a really big bond that you've been there since, since I was born. And since even like now you're still there in my life and I told her that I don't want her to see me differently so after the message that I sent her she texted me or called me I'm not so sure it was a month after she called me and she said that I know that I was harsh on you and this and that but it is hard for me to see you with the hijab on um you know because I, I like to see you you know, um, open and be yourself. And so I tried to explain to her, you know, what the, the hijab means and everything like that. And you no, know, after a while, she kind of got, um, she's a little kind of acceptable and non-acceptable, I guess, let's say. Some days she'll be, when I enter her house and I still have the hijab, this was the first, like, the first stage where I entered the house and she would be like, take it out or whatnot. And then I'll be like, no, mommy, like, you know, that if I want to wear it, I want to wear it. And she'll be like giving me kind of attitudes or she'll be giving me like little, uh, how do you call it? Like little subs saying that, oh, that you, you look pretty over your hair out and this and that. You know, it hurts me, but I don't say anything to her. Um, I go over their house because of my little sister. I love her so much, so I so I go there for her. Um, but after a while, like it's been a year maybe, yeah, it's been a year, that she's been all right. She hasn't said anything. She, you no, know, I still dress the same, just with long sleeves, long pants, you know. But she hasn't said anything. She sometimes, she sometimes does say, you know, when I'm around people, she says, don't wear the hijab. Like, she's a little bit scared. But I'm like, mommy, it's not you. It's me that I will have to. I'm the one that's going to explain. And, you know, and all those things. Like, I don't care what people tell me. And I have a lot of family members that are very judgmental about um, about Muslims. So I told her that you don't have to worry about anything that I'm the one that will, will have to explain to them. Or not even hear anything because I don't care. I don't have to explain myself to them. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're in a good terms now, thank God. So, um, there are strategies for you guys to probably do this. It may, may not help because any cases are different. Many, um, many cases are different. And I don't want you guys to go through, um, a period of your parents not accepting you or not having you or you not having them put it in your life because it does hurt and it does affect us so i will explain to you guys some strategies and see if it may or may not help you i'm not so sure um so the first um step is to do your research study and do many research if you have questions research you know, use your resources, as I said before in my previous um, video, research, research, research. Um, that once you have that, you know, research upon your religion so that if anything happens, you know, if you do want to convert to that religion, you know, you know, you know how to answer those questions um, that people have or that you have and that you're confident and that you feel comfortable to on that religion. Um, step two will be to write down your questions and your answers in a book. So that's what I've done. Um, I still have it, my questions and my answer book of, um, Islam. So when I was reading the Quran, I had questions, from, um, I have questions and of course I researched and used my resources to answer them. Um, now this book could help you, um, no, have that book to have um, when you're meeting up with your parents. So if anything, you could look back to the questions and to the answers um, that your, your parents may have and you had 
the same questions and answers that you can help them to understand a bit more. So step two is gather and organize all your questions and answers in a book. So this book helps you um, clarify any questions that your parents have. Or let's say your parents and you had the same questions and you could look back to your book and you know answer it to them. And this could help you um, clarify any um, could clarify any under, um, misunderstanding within the religion. Um, step three is to set up a meeting and time. Um, do it from their um, have let them set up a time and meeting to meet up with you. Um, and you know in that meeting, tell them nicely kindly and nicely <laughs> that you have been researching um, diverse religions and that you have decided to convert into whatever religions you have chosen. So watch and see um, their reactions and if they have any concerns, um, discuss, with, discuss um, with them about their concerns and use your book. As I said, you put your Q&A book, use it. So step five is ask or hear your parents what they may have known about your chosen religion. Listen to them carefully. If any confusions they may have, then clarify it to them so they can gain a better understanding of your chosen religion. Um, continuing those conversations of asking, listening, and responding because it may help. Um, also, uh, yeah, so that's step five. Step six is do not try to convert your parents to your beliefs. Don't argue with them either. Um, if they have a faith objections, don't, con um, don't contest with them. What you are doing is listening to their concerns and answering their questions and acknowledging their concerns as well. Um, so, you know, keep this whole meeting calm as possible very calm as possible because you don't want anything to happen or you know more anger in it in this conversation all right so step seven is let them know that you're the same person um you know let them know that whoever they um whatever they raised you are you're still the same you're still the same funny person you're still you're this you're the same silly person um nice friendly you're still the same person so whatever whatever it is, tell them that you are still the same person, and you are. Um, so I'm gonna come out with this, saying that I hope that these strategies may help you. Um, you know, if you have additional other strategies that you may know, you know, let me know or um comment down below. So you know, other people could feed um feed onto this and the code get this as a feedback. So um you know hope everything goes well everyone and it is tough but don't worry things you know I always say like it's between you and God at the end. Um so don't you worry you know be calm be patient and anything you know let time tell that um also this these strategies may or may not work. We have different parents. Or like any every case is different so i hope this strategy does work upon you and that your family is accepting also if you have a, a family member that is accepting um about your conversion you know seek help to them ask them for help on how you may um tell your parents um if they know your parents well you know, for instance, I have my cousin and she knows my mom very well. And so she helped me and she was my supporter during that time. Um, as well, my sister, my younger sister, she was a supporter too. Yeah, so basically, you um, seek that assistance from your family member um, and see what they say on how you could speak to them and whatnot. So I wish everyone the best of luck and to continue studying and researching on your chosen religion. Um, also, if you have any questions or concerns, 
just let me know i will put my instagram link below okay thank you all for watching take care and see you until next time